Today's pro bike check is actually a presenter bike check. This is my Canyon Strive CF. So the Canyon Strive is an enduro bike designed with the help of two-time world downhill champion and enduro world series winner Fabian Burrell. This is actually in the race geometry. So Canyon offer a couple of different size frames, or actually different size geometry, should I say. Uh, and it's the normal, regular, and the race. The race is just that bit roomier. So the front center is slightly larger on the race geometries. This is a medium size frame. And I'm five foot 10 or about 177 centimeters tall. It's 160 mil travel, the Strive, and it's a fully carbon fiber frame. A few really neat touches like the internal routing for all the cables. Also for the dropper seat post goes down and through the frame. You can see this is the shape shifter, which I'll show you in a second, but the cable also runs internally, so it keeps everything nice and neat. So the rear shock is a RockShox Monarch Plus air shock. You've got this lockout on here, so from minimum to mid to firm, and actually I don't use that to be honest. I'd much rather use the shape shifter on the bike. So you've got two different settings on that. You've got high and steep, so it raises the bottom bracket and steepens the head angle and actually reduces the travel a little bit as well, so great for pedaling up the hills. And then you push the lever on the bar and pump into the bike and then you can set it into the low setting. So that drops the bottom bracket down, slackens out the head angle and gives you that full 160 mil travel that's so great for the downhills. Suspension fork up front is this RockShox Pike. Again, 160 mil travel, lovely, all black, stealthy, but a nice little touch on these canyons is you've got the stickers on the fork and the shock to match that lovely paint job on the bike. Up to the handlebars, we've got these Renthal Fat Bar Light Carbons, actually a handlebar that I helped develop. I did a lot of testing for Renthal when these bars were coming out. Uh, also got a Renthal Apex 40 mil stem. The bars are 740 mil wide, so absolutely standard. We've got these Ergon GD1 grips, they're brand new downhill grip. We've got these SRAM Guide RSC brakes. As you can see, I like them really quite close to the bar, so my one finger rests there, it's really easy to get to. I've got a 200 mil rotor up front, so really big down on size, and a 180 on the rear. SRAM X01 11 speed shifter, and on the left hand side, I've got a couple of controls. I've got the shape shifter, and also this Crank Brothers Highline dropper seat post remote. We've got some more carbon fiber components on this bike. We've got these FSA K Force light wheels with the carbon fiber rims, We've got these cool bladed spokes, and on the rear, you've got that really quick to engage freewheel. So to the drivetrain, I've actually got the SRAM X01 carbon fiber cranks, 34.2 chainring, and this E13 top guide just to keep my chain on, even though I've got this wide, narrow chainring, it's a bit of double security. And these brand new Crank Brothers Mallet ELS. So as you can see, they're black and blue, sort of split in two. Um, and that's got the long spindle. So I do prefer that. It ups the Q factor, so my feet are slightly further apart, but because I use quite big uh, clipless shoes, if you get them too close to the cranks, you can sometimes touch the crank. So I really like that extra wide bit of space between my foot and the crank. Moving back, I've got the 11 speed cassette. That's the SRAM X01 as well as the rear mech. And that's a 1042 cassette. So to the seat post and saddle, I've got this Ergon SME3 saddle. That's also designed by Fabian Burrell. So he's almost designed the whole bike. Uh, it's an enduro style saddle. It's got this real nice channel in the middle. So super comfy, nice lightweight saddle. Crank Brothers Highline Dropper Seat Post, this 125 mil drop, and it's got the hydraulic cartridge inside and then it's cable actuated. Again, that's internally rooted. And actually the best thing, or my favorite thing about this seat post is that micro adjust remote lever so you can get it in that perfect spot. Weighs in at 13 and a half kilos or 29 pounds. So there's my Canyon Strive. I love the way all the colors are matched with the stickers, the frame, and also the pedals, it makes it look really cool. If you want to subscribe to GMBN, click on this logo just about here. Click up there for a link to the shop so you can buy stuff like this cool long sleeve t-shirt. And if you click just up there, that'll take you through to a video where does size matter, where you'll see this bike being ridden by myself and Scott. And click just down there for an Ask the Pros that features Fabian Burrell. Give us a thumbs up if you like my Canyon Strive.